Hello, welcome to episode 225 of the Epic Film Challenge. Paul, you can see that. Uh, yeah, it's uh, another Simon Pegg blurry camera. Simon Pegg, Nick Frost buddy film. Only this time they're travelling across um, Nevada in America in a Winnebago. Well, not really, but like a RV. What? Comic Con. Yeah, they go to Comic Con, they're nerds, they're kind of sci fi nerds, alien conspiratists and all that. And they. Um, What's the cartoonist's name? Did they want to see? I don't know. Oh, Shadow. Adam Shadow Child. Who the hell is Adam Shadow Child? <laughs> they said that like so three times. So they uh, they're in an RV. They're traveling across America, like going to all these like UFO hotspots and stuff, and they meet an alien called Paul. And um, he needs their help. And after getting over the initial shock of meeting an alien, they um, help him. And it's just like a road trip kind of chase movie almost in a way. Who like, can heal things and people and he can also go invisible when he holds his breath. Yeah, he can do lots of things. And uh, he's really funny. Uh, the vo voice by Seth Rogen, which is probably one of the, the only Seth Rogen performances I actually like. Right. Oh, sorry. Oh, we're doing a video. Oh, shit. No, go on. <laughs> after, um, after you told me it was Seth Rogen, all I could see was him when the alien was talking. I don't have that problem. I don't know, like, the, the computer. No, I, I just pictured him going, like, <laughs> talking about stuff and, like, uh, what did they call the dumb donuts? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> and all that stuff. You know what would have been cool? If I went, <gasps> and you edited me out while I was holding my breath. Because then I would go in. Didn't really work. We could like split the screen somehow. <laughs> anyway, right, we gotta. I said we need to do this quickly. Um, so yeah, uh, good film. I enjoy it. It's funny. Um, I don't have a problem that you do because I think the the computer generation on Paul is really good. Uh, the graphics really well done. What do you mean? What? I didn't say anything about the computer generated the, the graphics. Yeah, well, you said that you can't help but picture Seth Rogen whenever he talks, and I'm saying yes, that I thought that the, the computer graphics were so good that it didn't. I didn't have that problem. No, it's it's not because of that. It's, it's I know it's not. I know. I know that. I'm just saying. It's like if if you if you see a picture of Morgan Freeman and it has like text next to it, something he's said, and then you hear his voice in your head. It's like that. You you see Seth Rogen's freaking face when you hear his voice. He's got one of those voices. Yeah. It's just his voice. You know what I mean? So I got a picture of him. <laughs> He's funny. Yeah, you know, the whole film's kind of like a, a love letter to Steven Spielberg films, and he even appears in it briefly in a funny cameo. Really? Yeah, and um, there's... You're such a kick. Well, not really. There's a whole scene where he's speaking to him on the phone, so it's hard not to notice. Uh, when, when Paul says that they're like, why do you look like every alien that we see in, in, in movies and pictures? He's like, because the government drip feeds my image, so that if you ever do see me, you don't freak out. Mm -hmm. And he's like, they even like ask me for like, you know, when they make films or whatever, you know, like ideas. And then there's a shot of Paul in a warehouse speaking to Steven Spielberg on the phone about um, E.T. And he gives him the idea for when he sees finger lights up at the end of the film. I don't remember. That. You don't remember that, <laughs> okay? Uh, and there's loads of like other little references Is and stuff. After I fell asleep. No. And uh, Sigourney Weaver is in it also. Anyway, yeah, I'll give it a uh, 8 out of 10. I'll give it 8.5. Okay, thanks for watching.